But this is what sets the tone of a match, right? Most matches start with a lockup. So if someone sees a lockup that doesn't, looks a bit hokey, doesn't look strong, they can often switch off and they don't really buy what you're doing. You've already, you've already showed us that this is all a show. It's not legit, so that's what we want to see. We're going to do lockups. I know that sounds very basic and fundamental, but I'm just going to show you a couple ways that I feel can amplify your lockups in a pro wrestling sense, make it more of a performance, make it look like more of a fight. So, Sean, if I can borrow you. As we discussed, uh, the difference between pro wrestling and, and a grappling lockup, grappling is almost polar opposite, keeping your elbows tight, fighting for inside position, making sure there's no way they can take you back. Pro wrestling, we want to create more space, make it a bigger show for the back row. So when we come in, collar and elbow, we usually come in with quite big arms. Where I see a lot of mistakes happen is people kind of go between both. So they lock up with big arms, but their elbows, particularly their right elbow, is hanging nice and low. And when it hangs low, yes, okay, this does prevent them taking you back in a grappling sense. But for pro wrestling, it just brings us a little too close. We can't really have, the crowd can't really see what's going on. There's potential for heads to clash. I much prefer when we keep our elbow up. So I always teach, right elbow stays up as high as possible. We're going to start with the collar and elbow, but then I want you to play around with extending your right arm out. So Sean, if you extend your right arm out here, if we both do that, suddenly we have tension in the arms. It creates more of a battle. So now when we're working back and forth and pushing against each other, we can really, really show that whole performative side to what we're doing. Okay, if you're a heel, you know, you can work through like grabbing their ear, grinding through their face, make it a bit gritty. You can work them back to the ropes, up here. And it's looking like more of a fight than a dance. So what we're going to play around now with is having one person in the middle, turn around, face someone, lock up. Now with that lock up, you've got two options. So you can either work to a rope, so we can lock up here, extend the arms, we can work back to a rope and break it there, or we can break it on the spot. If you are going to break it on the spot we're in, what I usually suggest is bring your right arm or right hand underneath with a C grip, pop the elbow up to break that collar grip, and back away, still keeping your hands up. If you just lock up and you try to, from here, if you just try to like push away, usually you're still connected, it just looks a bit messy. So we come in, we lock up, we're going to work around a little bit, work around, work around, come to the C grip, pop up, keep the hands up and back away, always facing your opponent. Cool? All right, Sean, you can stay in the middle. You're going to turn around, face an opponent, lock up, work to a break, and then face someone else and keep it going. Cool? Let's go. Let's make uh, more of a circle here, guys. Let's create some space. Here we go. There we go. That's it, that's it. Break it up, break it up. I mean break. And even if you're on the ropes there, if we, if we get to a point where we're on the ropes and we're backing it up, same thing. Same thing applies. You can still get rid of that collar grip because we don't want to back up and have potential for them to keep a hold of us. So I would come here, I would get that kind of inside tie, break it up, keep their arms back, and once I know I'm safe, then we can back it up. All right, face someone else, same thing. That's it, that's it. Break it up, come on, on the ropes. One, two, three. Beautiful, nice, very good. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.